Hey, John here at the Grape and Granary. Today I'm going to do a little video on the use of a Enomatic bottle filler. Uh, these bottle fillers are made in Italy. We've been selling them for probably 10 or 15 years now, and they develop quite a following. Um, they do work really well. They can be used for other liquids besides just wine. I've had people buy them and use them for things like olive oil. So let me tell you a little bit about some of the features, and I'll show you how it works. And first of all, let me show you a few of the features of this unit. First thing you'll notice is that there's an adjustment here for bottle height. So as we pull this knob out, we can then raise and lower the filling head to accommodate different bottle heights. So we can accommodate anything as small as like 375 or as large or maybe larger than a 300, uh, 750 milliliter bottle. Also, we have a vacuum canister here. This unit works on vacuum, so it actually sucks, creates a vacuum, sucks the wine up out of our container into the filler head and then anything that would overflow the bottle will come up and then over into a collecting container. So we can catch anything that overflows our bottle. Also we have a volume control knob here. This controls how fast the bottle fills. Uh, two other quick items. It does come with a table clamp so that you can clamp this down to your tabletop which is really handy and then of course here we have our rocker arm power switch. Uh, one thing you want to keep in mind when you're using this bottle filler is you want the liquid level of your wine to be roughly the same level as the bottle filler. If the carboy here was sitting up on the table, this would actually fill bottles without even having to turn the unit on. It will run on a vacuum and just fill bottle up after bottle until the liquid level drops. If the carboy was down on the floor, there's going to be a little bit of, bit of a tendency for the bottles to overfill a little bit and you'll collect a little bit more in your uh, vacuum collecting container. It's not a big deal. It's just a little quirk with the bottle filler. Still works very well. So for today's demo, I've got the wine on this chair so that you can see the liquid level here is just about even with the height of our bottle filler. Okay, before we fill a few bottles, let me just show you. Um, this racking tube comes apart for easy cleaning and storage. And it has an anti-sediment tip here. This can be raised and lowered depending on uh, how much sediment you might have in your carboy. I'd always recommend racking the wine off any sediment first into a container uh, before you bottle, but you don't have to. It can sit up off of any uh, sediment. So let's go ahead and put this in our carboy and we'll fill a few bottles. Uh, I've got this unit adjusted to accommodate our 375 milliliter bottle. So all we have to do is enter the bottle at, like so. And go ahead and hit our rocker switch, turn the unit on. It will draw the wine up through the racking tube into the bottle filling head, fill the bottle up, and then any extra liquid will go up into our collecting container, and then later on we can just bottle that. So let's go ahead and flip it on and watch it work. All right, there is one. Take that bottle out, we're ready to go ahead and fill another one. You don't really have to turn it on or off once the power switch is on. All you do is pull the bottle out, exchange it for an empty bottle. In between fillings, if you find you've got a bottle of a little uh, different height, just go ahead and pull out on the lever here, snap it back in place, and we're ready to fill a bottle that has a little more height to it. And it automatically will begin to fill again. Okay, once we've filled four or five bottles, you can see we have collected just a little bit of overflow here. This wine could be transferred back into the carboy if we wanted to, or we could just use a funnel to go ahead and fill up a few uh, empty bottles. All right, that's pretty much it for the bottle filling section. Uh, you can purchase separately a filter housing and filter separately if you wanted to. You could set this up in an inline, as an inline filter, so you could draw your wine up from a carboy. It would pass through with the vacuum through a filter, uh, then from the filter, it would draw up into the bottle, and then again, anything that uh, overflows the bottle would come into your collecting container. Uh, that can be done. Um, that's pretty much it for the Enomatic Bottle Filler. If you have any questions about that, please don't hesitate. Give us a call. Uh, you can always find us on the web, uh, www.thegrape.net, and thanks for watching.